here we're going to have a look at an introduction to Arrhenius plots. And Arrhenius plots are very useful as they allow us to work out the activation energy and the Arrhenius constant for a particular chemical reaction. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the Arrhenius equation, which is an equation you do not need to recite. This is what we call the exponential form of the Arrhenius equation. In order to do an Arrhenius plot, we need to get what we call the log form of this equation. So I'm going to take what we call natural logs of this, and that will give us the following equation, which is another equation which will be given in your exam. So this here we call the log form of the Arrhenius equation. And this equation is an equation for a straight line. It's a y equals mx plus c equation. In order to see that, we need to expand this minus ea over rt term into minus ea over r times 1 over t. So these two values here are equivalent to this value here. So we said that it's in the form of an equation for a straight line. This is my y. LNA is my C. My gradient is minus E over R. And 1 over T is my X. Now, we need to draw then a graph of 1 over t on my x-axis against ln k on my y-axis. So I've got my 1 over t on my x-axis and then ln k on my y-axis. Please be aware that ln k values are nearly always negative and as such the y-axis value should be below the x-axis value so they get more negative as you go down the y-axis. So we need to plot the points, and when we do that, we should get a straight line. And once we've got this straight line, we then need to work out the gradient. And when working out the gradient, it's a good idea to use a, a large triangle. And that would minimise the error. I'm just going to do that one, so it's actually meeting the line. What we then do is to work out this gradient, we then work out what these two values are. So I've got, for example, I'm going to call this um, y1, I'm going to call this y2, this value here. And then I'll do the same for my x-axis. So this here would be x1, x2. So my gradient is equal to, we could say delta y over delta x. And delta y is the difference between the two y values. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's my gradient. And that there, this value is equal to minus Ea over R. And that is equal to the gradient. Now, if I want to work out then my activation energy, It's therefore, if I rearrange that, it's the minus gradient times R. And because this gradient is negative, you'd get a negative value for this gradient. That negative value for the gradient and this negative here would cancel to give you a positive activation energy. Now, when we want to work out the Arrhenius constant, what we'd usually use then is we would get my value for the activation energy and then substitute this in to the exponential form. So if I wanted to work out the activation energy, 
sorry, the Arrhenius constant A, it would be simply K divided by this exponential form here. And that's something we'll have a look at in Arrhenius plots two video. So that there is an introduction to uh, Arrhenius plots and how we can work out the gradient and then from the gradient how we can work out the activation energy.